today detectors from Metropolitan North Region closed an 11 month operation called Kilo Subdue, targeting illegal activities of members and associates of the Bandito Outlaw Motorcycle Gang. A number of search warrants were executed this morning at addresses within the southeast Queensland within South East Queensland, resulting in 32 people, including members and associates of the Bandidos Outlaw Motorcycle Gang, being arrested on 173 charges. Police seized methamphetamine, MDMA, cannabis, firearms, and a mobile phone and a number of mobile phone tasers during the operation. Five people have been charged. Uh, with trafficking dangerous drug and production of dangerous drug and also uh, grievous bodily harm offences. Um, the people arrested included the National Sergeant of Arms for the Bandidos. Uh, one person is to appear in the Beanley Magistrate's, Magistrate's Court today with further arrested persons appearing in the Brisbane Magistrate's Court tomorrow. Um, there's also continued investigations in relation to those raids that were conducted today. All about? It was targeting the outlaw motorcycle uh, gang, the Bandidos, the Brisbane chapter of the Bandidos, and uh, a lot of the uh, investigation revolved around the distribution of drugs. Has that chapter re-established a clubhouse in the south, in the south side of Brisbane yet? Uh, no, not to my knowledge. Were, were clubhouses um, among the, the search warrants? That no, there was no clubhouses uh, searched during the operation today just homes? They were the addresses of the um, uh, Outlaw Motorcycle Gang members and their associates. Did they include Brisbane and the Gold Coast? Uh, they included Brisbane, the Gold Coast and Ipswich. How were the raids? Did they put up a fight? Uh, no, the raids all went out with, uh, went on without any incident. Were other chapters involved, uh, including the Centro chapter? No, it was only the um, raids today only uh, included the Brisbane chapter. So of those 32 people who were charged, five of them were charged with the, the drug side of things? Uh, right? Five were charged with uh, trafficking offences. Actually, that may increase this afternoon, um, but there was 10 trafficking charges all up with five people arrested for trafficking offences. What were the other charges then for the other people? Uh, the other charges were serious assaults such as grievous bodily harm, um, production of uh, dangerous drug, a number of supplies, possession of firearm offences, um, possession of the tasers which I mentioned earlier. Um, uh, there was also um, quanti uh, a number of uh, addresses that had um, amounts of money that was um, located. And uh, also there was um, drugs also seized. Are there any particular assaults that might stand out to us that the charges were over? No, they, there, there are no um, real assaults that were reported on through the media. Can you clarify what charges specifically the Sergeant of Arms might be facing? Uh, that is an operational question and we're not really going to answer those questions in Have relation to it. Yes, he has been charged. Five who were charged with trafficking and production to date, were they all members? Uh, two, of the, two of them were members. Uh, the other uh, three and the other four, actually, there will be another charge tonight, but the other others were all associates. Will police allege that those two were included in those that were at the top of the distribution chain of this drug distribution network? Um, we don't know where they fall within the distribution network, but uh, they're definitely members of the, Adler, uh, the Brisbane chapter of their um, banditos. Who were they trafficking to? Um, to the Outlaw um, Entertainment To the entertainment precincts in the Brisbane areas and also um, the south side of Brisbane. Would that include the Fortitude Valley and West End? Um, I've got no specifics on but I haven't got any detail about that, so I can't really comment. So, uh, I can't comment on that. Um, our operation's been going for 11 months, so a lot of the information has been gathered over those 11 months from January. The, uh, sh the uh, um, gun attack on the uh, erstwhile uh, clubhouse of this chapter, um, that was part of the investigation? No.
involved in that riot at Greg's. You know why they were needed for that? Uh, Archfield. Archfield. Yeah. Uh, cert was used during that operation, and that related to um, some of the persons associated with that address had um, firearm related offences. Is this the first mobile phone taser the Queensland Police have seized? Um, I'm not sure whether it's the first, but we're, during the operation we seized three mobile phone tasers. How significant is this operation by police in terms of targeting the illegal activities of bikies? Uh, it's significant in that it's uh, identified uh, six of the members of the um, uh, Brisbane chapter of the Banditos and uh, those members were all charged today with varying charges. Pleased are you, though, to, to be sort of um, getting on top of this kind of activity? Well, I think uh, anything that can disrupt the, um, you know, organised crime is always pleasing. Any strategies that can be put in place to disrupt, you know, the distribution of drugs is always good. How much drugs have, can you give us a quantity of sort of drugs that That's seen? still be being put together, and anything I say about the quantity of drugs, you know, like it may change. So I'd rather not comment on that. Uh, MDMA, uh, methylamphetamine, and cannabis. What, what prompted the operation? Was there a pivotal moment or pivotal? Well, moment? that's an opera. That's an operational. That's operationally significant. So we'd rather not comment on that. So. Can we expect more arrests in coming days? Uh, maybe not in coming days, but the investigation will continue, and there may be arrests in the coming weeks. Yes. Uh, there was uh, two long arms, uh, replica firearms, as well as a shotgun. So if that. Yes, that's right. And the rest of the uh, they're associates, close associates, yes. Yeah.